Hey, I'm Peter McAleer from Longboarding Tips, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a toe side no comply. First things first, we're going to go with foot positioning. Uh, your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. Your toes are going to be hanging off the board just a little bit because it's a toe side trick and your back foot is gonna be slightly more off the board than your front foot. That's about all you need to know in terms of foot positioning. All right, so as you're cruising in steezily to do this trick, you're gonna do a big heel side setup carve, then you're gonna carve in hard on your toe side, wind up your arms, and then as you throw yourself, you're gonna do like a uh, have an eagle impression, get your arms way up in the air to take the weight off your feet and off your board, and you're going to step off, step on the heel side edge of your board, and drag your board the rest of the way around. It helps to carve in as much as possible on your toe side, so that when you throw yourself and you step off, you don't have to drag the board quite as far to finish the rotation. In terms of stepping off, you can either step off on your heel side edge or your toe side edge. Personally, I find it much easier to step off on the heel side edge because it just makes dragging the board around that much simpler and um, less chance of really falling and messing up. When you're going to step off the board, it's going to be kind of scary the first couple of times. So you want to make sure you carve in as much as you can. As you're going like this to step off, what you're going to do is you're going to wind up your arms, throw them, then step off. Make sure you have a lot of monkey toe when you're first starting out. Drag the board around, and then just hop back on and you're the sexiest man alive. That's it for this trick tip. I hope it helped. Keep your eyes peeled for more trick tips coming in the near future. Get out there and do your thing.